Variety of living organisms. IGCSE Biology. Topic Summary. There are millions of different species of organisms on Earth. Scientists need some way of ordering and grouping them. Putting organisms into groups is called classification. Organisms are placed into groups based on similar features and characteristics. We also use genetics to group organisms with similar DNA patterns. There are five main kingdoms, plants, animals, fungi, protarctists, and bacteria. Let's look at some key features in each of the five kingdoms. Plants. Plants are eukaryotic and multicellular. They contain chloroplasts and use photosynthesis to make their own food. This makes plants autotrophic. Plant cells store energy in the form of starch. They have cell walls made of cellulose. Examples include mosses, ferns and flowering plants. Animals. Animals are multicellular and eukaryotic. They store energy in the form of glycogen. The animal group is very large. Can divide them into smaller groups by grouping them into vertebrates and invertebrates. Animals are heterotrophs, have no cell walls. Examples include humans, fish, insects, sponges. Fungi. Fungi are unicellular organisms. They are eukaryotic. They store energy as glycogen and have cell walls made of chitin. Fungi have a network of thread-like filaments called hyphae. Together the network of hyphae is called a mycelium. They absorb nutrients from dead and decaying organisms and use extracellular digestion. This makes fungi saprotrophic. Examples include mushrooms, yeast, and molds. Protarctists are a mixed group of eukaryotic organisms, many of which don't fit into the plants, animals, or fungi groups. Most are unicellular. Some live in water, like the amoeba. These are called protozoa. Some can carry out photosynthesis, like plants. These are called algae. Some organisms can cause disease, like plasmodium, which causes malaria. Bacteria. These are unicellular, prokaryotic organisms. They are much smaller than eukaryotic organisms and have a very simple cell structure. They can reproduce very rapidly, around every 20 minutes. Bacterial cells have a cell wall made of peptidoglycan. Some have another layer outside the wall called a capsule or slime layer. The genetic information is contained in a single loop of DNA called a nucleoid. They can also have more genetic information stored in plasmids. Some have flagella, for movement. Bacteria and fungi play a very important role in ecosystems as decomposers. Some bacteria are used to make food like yogurt and cheese, while others are pathogens and cause disease. Viruses. Viruses are not considered living organisms. They are obligate parasites. They only show signs of living when inside, living cells, which are called host cells, have a protein coat and DNA or RNA as genetic material. They take over host cell machinery during infection. Many different types of viruses, some can infect animals, some infect plants and others target bacteria. Don't forget to like and subscribe.